Hi, so this video is about um, my allergies um, is about uh, the most difficult allergies uh, you may have so um, basically I'm, I have not always been an allergic person in my life I could eat everything I would always feel well but since I moved to another country flying to avoid violence for, of my father since uh, I also had violence in my relationship and not because of me and because after I went uh, um, kind of vegan, pescatarian, so I didn't eat any more meat um, I started to develop uh, like every, to every amount of months I started to develop allergies my first thing um, it happened when I ate uh, kiwi because I, I thought wow kiwi is so delicious let's buy some kiwi I tried at home at first I ate I felt good I bought at home I eat oh my gosh couldn't breath I think I had anaphylaxis and I was so worried and anxious why I can't breath why I don't know and so I am I saw a doctor and he said if it happened like that it means that you have allergy and he gave me some pills he said if it if um, if uh, pills are not enough go to ER okay in my emergency room and uh, so that was my first one and I was quite um, obsessive about it but uh, um, and so I always ask do you have kiwi because uh, where I'm living now there are many fruit uh, drink shop the drink shop and many have uh, kiwi but I found out that many places didn't have because I'm not in New Zealand thankful and not in Australia so um, many places didn't have but it took me long and I think kiwi fruit is not very um, it's not a very difficult allergy but then slowly I started to have coconut and I didn't know I had coconut because I always ate coconut lately I really loved coconut and but at a point I ate a tart and I thought it was their fault to have some kiwi contamination with kiwi but it was coconut so I found out I had coconut and I had to remove all the coconut from my home and so um, I can say coconut is a very I have also other allergies maybe flax seed although I'm not sure and maybe lychee but I'm not sure about them although lychee always made me feel unwell even when I didn't have allergies so it all started in a moment of my life which was very hard and uh, coconut is one of the hardest although uh, maybe for a vegan for a vegan is uh, really hard super hard but if, if you're not vegan the hardest ones are water because like uh, I read that some women are pregnant after getting pregnant they get allergy to some kind of water although uh, usually it's not very hard allergy like maybe skin allergy dermatitis but uh, um, some I knew because I had a I knew a person, or I heard that a person told when I was doing some sportive act uh, activity uh, that, that they said that, that their son had allergy to water and they had to change so many kind of water because there was something in the water or the water which was not good. So the most difficult allergies of the water tend to are allergy of the sun. So I have a friend and she told me that if she stays more than three hours in the sun she will start to get uh, like uh, skin rashes so she cannot stay much outside in the sun and of course to, there are people who really can't stay in the sun which are some rare medical condition which can't stay outside in the sun uh, at all and uh, mostly with very very pale skin and then so um, and these are for everyone of course and then there are I think that the wheat allergies very uh, celiac disease is very difficult because wheat is the staple gluten is uh, everywhere although maybe is one of the most new known allergies so is um, a lot of food um, without gluten so it's very popular you know without gluten food without gluten so it's, it's difficult but very popular but uh, there are many dishes which are made with gluten especially in Europe and maybe America uh, I don't know even if you have an 
vegan diet I think many people pasta but you can avoid if you cook at home so uh, we are saying that these are some of the most difficult allergies some people many people have allergies to nuts so maybe they have allergies to um, to hazelnut especially maybe to almond and the coconut is not actually a nut uh, technically it's not a nut the cashew is also not a nut and the peanut is also not a nut so um, but many people have allergies also to peanuts peanuts is difficult to avoid in asia very difficult because they especially chinese cuisine and um, but it, actually even coconut is very used in asia especially vietnam thailand um, Japan no, maybe Korea no, Taiwan so so, not so much and so there are countries which they don't use much coconut but about uh, peanuts, it's very difficult to be in Asia may, even for uh, fish, so many condiments are use fish so if you are allergic to um, shrimp or any kind of fish it's difficult in Asia Many countries rely on um, um, how to say fish and seafood, so it's very difficult in some parts of the world if you are not uh, maybe if you if you're not vegan or if you eat uh, if you don't like meat. I don't know. anyway. Um, or anyway, if you're not inside a place, so you have a lot of meat if you eat meat. Uh, so yeah, there are a lot of foods which can give uh, allergy and there are some people, some people I find out in my groups they have so many allergies, they don't know what to eat and so I must say that some people can be vegetarian vegan because many they can only tolerate a few kinds of meat maybe and many vegetables they can't have, many grains and cereals they can't have so they can't be vegan or vegetarian so basically the most difficult are water and sun because of course we need them no? and, uh, and then uh, wheat although it's very popular so maybe it's not so uh, you know not so difficult and some people maybe have allergy to tomato maybe it's difficult to avoid in Italy but maybe in other country is easier so it's, it's all depend on where you live how it's difficult like if I had with the kiwi fruit allergy if I went to New Zealand it would be uh, like I should always buy maybe a local market and pay attention where there is kiwi and not because maybe there's some cross contamination also at the market so either really or aside from sun and water and maybe wheat maybe aside from these three in my opinion the other are easier to manage in uh, depending on the country where you are so my allergy i can talk about my allergy which is coconut allergy so um, my coconut allergy is uh, as i said is very difficult when you go to vietnam when you go to Thailand, uh, when you go to, um, I'm not sure, maybe Philippines, I don't know, but I'm sure about Vietnam and Thailand, and to Vietnam I had been there twice before I had the coconut allergy, I really liked it, and I'm sorry that um, it would be more difficult with, you know, the allergy, I don't know Vietnamese, so I, if you don't go to the market and choose the food for yourself, or you learn some words and it's very difficult or you if you have any friend you know and so in some parts of the world coconut is very very important for their diet for their economy and um, where I'm living in Asia thankfully coconut is used but uh, only difficult when like I have a lot of difficulties eating out with my vegan friends many times I say no and some people they don't understand my allergies and maybe they get uh, angry or I feel that I don't want to say they are angry but I feel they resent, uh, that they are resentful to me and I don't know how to do I risk my life to meet you I, I would love to meet you but maybe doing something else and the problem of coconut is not if you are not vegan maybe you are vegetarian is okay because local food or the state I'm in has no coconut it has no coconut 
so um, but it's processed even expensive food and so from one side it's good that I can spend less and it's good that I'm pescatarian because being vegan would be very difficult with a coconut allergy so I'm mostly vegan at home and pescatarian outside so it can make me have a normal life and uh, uh, so um, the problem of the coconut aside from vegan processed food and vegan restaurants because it is only affects you if you are vegan and the problem of coconut is that coconut is everywhere okay um, when you like um, when you clean your hands use maybe a bar man, nowadays maybe not many people use this use the liquid soap no the liquid soap they will have a lot a lot of coconut derivatives coconut oil coconut here coconut there it's all derivatives so when you read but uh, it's a chemical no uh, it's from the coconut so um and uh, after i tell you my experience i, I explain to you what, where do you find coconut and then uh, uh, liquid to wash dishes so um uh, all the liquids for washing dishes, maybe the liquid to wash your clothes in the when you do the laundry, the liquid when you um, the shampoo, the shower gel, a lot, a lot of coconut derivatives, and um, even the wet, uh, the wet uh, tissues, and um, in the alcohol like um, like hamukina, you know, like those alcohol uh, rubbing gel that becomes dry after you use them everything to clean even to clean the house coconut coconut derivatives of coconut uh, so um, I didn't know peas so it's really difficult because I had to eliminate uh, many of my products for the home uh, for example for example uh, it happened the several times I got uh, like nearly anaphylactic and I didn't understand why I free my house of coconut. I didn't have kiwi fruit. Uh, where is the problem? And uh, uh, where is the problem? Uh, I clean, I clean. Uh, at that point, uh, one friend also told me in the past, isn't that the, li the liquid to wash things? Then I think, well, uh huh? And then at that point uh, I search, I get the doubt, the doubt, and then isn't that the um, things to wash your hands, to wash the dishes, isn't that that they have coconut derivatives? I searched, they had. To one uh, gel for hands, if I didn't dry well, if I didn't, um, if I had my hands wet and I would eat with my hand after rinsing them with water, after using the angel then I eat something, I would get anaphylactic and I really couldn't breathe and I felt not good um, although I sometimes I got it and I didn't know why because I didn't have kiwi fruit, coconut I, didn't, I don't think I had any cross contamination so it was a mystery and then I understood and as first I change uh, the angel and then I also change I also bought another um, liquid for washing the dishes but the rest actually I don't have many people have also dermatitis I have some red points sometimes but for me it's not something I particularly doesn't affect me so much just get a lot of my it's not big red points it's just that you see that the arm looks weak that the arm looks different and then you know that you had some uh, allergy so yeah uh, basically um, I always get anaphylactic then I changed I went to a shop one day I spent many hours to search products without coconut derivatives so I find for example the Aleppo soap is uh, quite old and good with just uh, olive oil and uh, laurel oil is it said like that and so I found that but uh, it was more expensive so I find something local uh, I went in a natural shop local shop they had good prices and they didn't have coconut derivatives in the in the toothpaste because you could even have in the toothpaste 
no not in the toothpaste and not in the hand soap so for the kitchen to wash my hands i use hand and soap and also in the bathroom i use hand soap to wash my hands and and they also have a very good smell and they use a palm they say the palm is not very ecological but for me i can't do otherwise and so or i do very natural like aleppo soap or i do palm based um, palm based in, in um, products I mean soaps so I use that for my hands and I used a lot of hours to find out about that and uh, the point is I'm not sure I need still to find out if it is linked but also some medicine for allergies they also have some coconut derivatives and some people have allergy to them so I started to have hypersensitivity to the antihistamines and it was so hard at the point I started to feel like mm, it looks like I have a cold but it was just allergy to, to pills to peace. And, and I was so what and at the point my I felt my my throat closing and it was just a pill for allergy so it was quite difficult and then they gave me they gave me other pills but these other pills they gave me fever, so it's always uh, strange lately with the pee, even with the peers after using for so long. Maybe I had even from before. It's so it's uh, very difficult. The peers, the peers have coconut derivatives too. So uh, so difficult. You need to change all your life to be very simple, very whole food, all ingredients. Do your do your own soap. Do your own shampoo, do your own anything, or you you took time and searched the one without, which is very rare, and you must accept the price, even maybe ten euros for the washing gel. I'm not sure. So, or you do by yourself, or you you took some time and find them very pricey things, and uh, yeah. So. Um, I, I really like to make natural and I also find out um, the odorant because even the deodorant has coconut anyway <laughs> although to me I don't mind on the skin I just mind not to swallow so when I wash my hands and when I wash dishes that's the important for me so maybe I still have some shampoo with some coconut derivatives is okay because I feel the shampoo is making my hair very beautiful so I will keep that but other people they can't even have on the skin uh, or maybe breathing and uh, so and they say because I'm in uh, groups in allergy groups and they say that um, we don't we are not allergic to all the derivatives or maybe we are allergic to all, but we should uh, check we should check which derivatives we can we're allergic and which not, but if you're not from a USA or if you're not from a very, uh, how to say, there are many countries in the world they know about allergies, but there are many countries in the world they don't know uh, a thing about allergies. Where I am now, they don't know much. They give you some peers and that's it. They even they test at the most. They give some peers, that's it. But they don't have very specific tests. They even don't keep you inside if they give you new peers and you say uh, I can't have other peers. They even don't keep you in the hospital and you spend maybe you don't spend much, but you know it's not good. And uh, in other places they can test for coconut derivatives, so it's very good. Maybe in uh, I think in I talk with someone from US. So first world countries, they can test for coconut derivatives often. Although here they also depend, I think, because it's very complicated and difficult. And so it really depends if uh, some people react to it all. So for safety, you have um, a lot of information which maybe I can share under the video. And this says which which are all the coconut derivatives. And I can read you some from my phone, which you would really not uh, imagine. Perfume, perfume doesn't mean that it has coconut. Some perfume may have coconut, but mostly not. Glycerin, glycerin, it doesn't. It's not sure it's from coconut. Just that 
you for your safety you can decide do I keep do I don't do I don't keep I don't keep and okay there is for example an ammonium lauryl sulfate no? just to see some capril Capril is always from coconut, so capril glycol, caprilic acid, caprilic glycol, cap capric, caprilic, cetaril alcohol, cetaril glucol, cetyl alcohol, cetyl ester, coca mid mea, coca mitropil, betaine, cocoa prelate, capre, caprate, Coco glucose, coco mid, so those with coco is uh, usually from coconut. And then, uh, well, coconut milk, cocos nucifera, coconut oil, desil glucose, disodium cocam, disodium cocam, for um, emulsifying wax, glycerin caprylate. Exilorate laura free lauric acid isopropyl meristate laurel lauryl alcohol a, a lot of and more more this is just a few of them so uh, uh, there is a long list and this uh, people with cock how do you do the most of the people they search the ingredient they like or they just do by themselves many do by themselves so we I like because um, it's a allergy which makes me have a even more natural life than what I was not having because I'm, I'm not quite rich so I'm I, I'm the opposite so I, I'm cook much at home and I'm, I'm quite natural already so um so let's say that it is not bad to have this allergy. I I, I can enjoy its a side effect. <laughs> but uh, and about when I go to eat a restaurant, I usually don't uh, have uh, many allergies. But uh, it happened a few days ago. I got some allergy, and when I ate at home, I didn't have because some spoon was wet. And so if I see any wet uh, thing like a wet uh, glass wet uh, dish and then I always uh, dry it because when they are dry I don't usually get um, pro and so how to deal uh, so how I said is just uh, make you have a more um, natural life and um, what else you can live well even with allergies um, but uh, many times people look at me quite weird when I go to a restaurant I speak about my allergies because they really don't know about allergies and some even say it is not a fruit shop but the, the truth is that many many processed food if vegan they may have coconut you know so I need to ask in sushi store you don't need to ask so it's quite easy to be a pescatari but in uh, I still ask but in other um, shops, in other restaurants, I ask, usually, aside from, aside from, of course, popcorn, you know, when you go to cinema and a few things. So they always look at me weird, of course, it's not, it doesn't make me feel so, maybe, happy. But uh, that's fine, because uh, they find it weird, I understand that they find it weird, that maybe it's not good, sometimes they laugh about it, like, oh, she has coconut allergy, but yeah, I have a coconut allergy, uh, is there to laugh, uh, I don't know, um, oh, she has a kiwi fruit allergy, because here not many people have allergies, or allergies are not very well known, so they will maybe laugh, they will look at you like, oh, you are so weird, and in, in their Chinese language, and, uh, and so yeah doesn't make you feel very good so maybe you don't want to talk about your allergies so usually on saturday when i do a movie night because i really love movies as as i may have said before and i usually order by uber eat uh, but i'm not here to advertise them um uber eat or any other you know delivery app is okay and you write your allergies and that's very easy there is no people who think you're they think you're weird, they don't tell you, so it's quite good. <laughs>
for me to order online but of course I go out to eat I go mostly to sushi stores because I'm sure that probably there is no coconut usually there is no coconut so I'm kiwi fruit so I'm quite uh, good and so sometimes I eat pizza pizza they don't use coconut so in my country in Italy because I'm not a native English speaker I'm Italian actually in my country coconut is not so used aside from vegan food and so um, I wouldn't have problems in Italy so also the food I cook at home I have no problem I don't need to use coconut so I mean I can use extra virgin olive oil so I think it's quite uh, easy I feel uh, not good when I go out to eat and so maybe sometimes I just want to eat uh, um, Okay, I'm not rich to eat a lot, to buy a lot, but if I go, I go to a few places, even in night market, I go in a few places, because I don't want to always, oh, she's weird, I know they think I'm weird, I don't, I, they don't say it, but I know, uh, they think so, and some people are very kind, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, so yeah, my life, I think, is, is not so difficult, just, uh, just pay attention when you see the uh, when you see sorry sorry when you see um, wet uh, things you clean up you dry them up that's it and then, then you eat and you make sure that there is no coconut no kiwi fruit if they don't know about allergies so make sure here you don't sell any kiwi fruit any coconut because they don't know about cross contamination so you just ask if they don't sell it's fine if they sell maybe you don't eat there. Uh, I know it's bad, but uh, if they are cheap restaurants, they won't know even a little bit more price, they won't know, so you need to, to go to very expensive restaurant. maybe they will know. So I think my life is not so hard, just a point that I would like to visit Thailand, and I'm not sure how easy it is to um, visit Thailand, they use much coconut, I'm not sure. It will be a, maybe a challenge, or maybe I will have to eat, you know, at, at my place. I'm not sure, I, I really don't know, but I would like to see many countries still in Asia, and uh, it will be, um, I will have to think how to do. Yeah, so um, I think coconut is a very difficult allergy. You always find something, and you even don't understand why I got anaphila. <laughs> why? Ah, coconut derivatives. And so, um, quite hard and uh, sorry for as usual I always talk a lot um, uh, thank you for uh, viewing my video I hope it was informative and uh, I hope you liked it and if you have any question you can write down in the comments and uh, if you want you can subscribe I will I will post things about star seed movies I like and uh, which made me think also movies that are good to see for a star seed or just meaningful movies and then I talk about my allergies I talk about my life I talk I want to start to talk also about oracle cards I don't like tarots sorry if I say this they don't give me very good vibes but I got good vibes from some oracle cards so I want to start to do oracle cards and uh, and and uh, yeah so i would like to talk a little bit about both a little bit new age or star seed and also about very more normal things that everyone can be interested to know okay so um for any question you can read, uh, you can ask me below or if you have any good comment or anything interesting you want to share and if you want you can subscribe and I will upload videos maybe every week, every two weeks, but I will do more in one um, at the same days because for me I'm used to work more in a few days, in some days, and rest more in other days. So this is my way, my particular way of working. And so I hope you liked it. If you want to subscribe, I would like if you would do, but if you don't do, that's fine, it's your decision, your feel to do it. And if you want to comment, and sorry for my mistakes, as I said in Italian, <laughs> pardon, and uh, have a good day, and much joy and happiness as usual, and see you uh, in the next video, okay, bye-bye.